So this is my first video since my welcoming back to YouTube and I've already messed up my upload schedule. Yo, what's up YouTube? I'm Michael, welcome back to my channel and normally it's Monday so this is where my less edited videos would go but I wanted to get this video out before 2021 so welcome. So in this video, I'm going to be going over my language learning goals for 2020 and how I've pretty much let everything down. First off, let's go back to a year ago. Well, did I say there were three languages I wanted to focus on this year. The first language was French, then Norwegian, and then I introduced a new language, Spanish. What all did I want to do for each language? First off, let's look at my Norwegian. What all did I want for that? My goal is B1 by the end of the year. I'd like to have my Norwegian at around maybe a low B1. While I probably could improve more than that, I certainly want to give time for more languages and such. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, yes, that, that went so well. For those of you who did not know, I was learning Norwegian at the start of the year. And during this year, I've learned zero Norwegian. I officially quit back in May-ish of this year, where I said, no, I'm done. But even those first four or five months of the year, I really didn't study it. I always kept pushing it to the side. You know, it was something that I was like, oh, I'll do it later. I'll just, oh, let me get through this bit of Spanish, I'll do this later. Oh, let me get through this bit of French, and I'll do it later. And it never did. I was at an A1 at the start of this year, and now I wouldn't say I'm that. You know, I can say some basic French, like, hallo, ja hette mich heil, ja komme fra Canada. Jeg snakker ikke norsk, jeg snakker engelsk og fransk, og jeg lærer spansk. That's about it though. I can say, you know, my name, maybe how old I am, how would I say that? Jeg, jeg er 15 gammel, I think. I think that's how you'd say that. But that's not even right anymore, what would it be? Jeg, jeg er 16 gammel, I think, I, I don't know. My Norwegian is gone. I don't know any I know very, very little Norwegian. So my B1 goal couldn't be farther. That I have probably failed the hardest on. Let's take a look at what I said for French. By the end of the year, I want my French to be approaching C1. So I said that I wanted my French to be approaching C1. Did I get there? In short, no. Have I made strides at my French? <laughs> I don't really know because my French has really taken some leaps and bounds it like I did very well at some point and I did terribly in other points during my year over the summer I did Explorantine which was my kind of mock French summer camp because you know the world's kind of it's kind of on fire so that's what I did to improve my French and it got a lot better during that but then I pretty much stopped cold turkey with French. I didn't do much until recently where I realized that my French has completely fallen by the wayside and I am making a conscious effort to get it back and I'm making some gains now. But overall, I'd say my French is maybe a touch better than where it was a year ago, but definitely not approaching C1. The final goal this year was I introduced a brand new language. I said I was starting to learn Spanish. What did I say? My new language that I'll be learning, Spanish. So, I am partaking in another challenge. I am going to be learning Spanish in three months. We're doing this again. <laughs> Oh, Michael, what were you thinking? I actually completely forgot I did that. I knew I said I was starting Spanish, but I completely forgot I did the Spanish in three months. So, the goal was to get to A2 level in Spanish in three months. About a month and a half in, I said I was not doing it. I quit. Because it was not looking pretty. So, my goal became then to reach A2 by the end of the year. I did not achieve that. I am at an A1 in Spanish now. Puedo hablar un poco de español. Mi español no es bueno. Es muy difícil para mí de entender los otros cuando uh, hablanme. Pero puedo... Puedo... 
decir más que, uh, que el pas pasado. Um, it's like, I'm doing so much better with Spanish than I was a year ago, but I'm definitely not at A2. But I'm, I'm A1. I'm confident in saying that I'm A1 in Spanish. I can create some simple phrases. I can have some simple conversations. And even throughout the year, I've had conversations in Spanish. I remember, I want to say three, four months in, I had a conversation about half hour entirely in Spanish. I struggled. Uh, and I really had to gesture or I really had to like, work around things I didn't know. Like I tried to explain the word word in Spanish without knowing the word palabra. And it was tough, but I did it. So I'm able to have small conversations in Spanish, but I'm certainly not at A2 yet. And that's where my language goals ended up being. Basically, I failed every single one of them. There was a variety of reasons for that. It was a lack of dedication. If I had put more time into it, and if I had integrated languages into my life more, I would have succeeded to a higher degree. I'm not saying I would have been at a B1 in Norwegian, a C1 in French, and an A2 in Spanish by the end of the year. But I definitely could have maybe achieved one or two of those goals. Maybe even got fairly close in all three. Maybe achieved all three, who knows? But, the biggest problem was my lack of dedication. I really dropped the ball on a lot of that. And I had, I had literally three months where I didn't leave my house at all. And even then, when I did start going out of the house more and more again, I still, it was still like, I basically had six months where I did nothing. And I didn't utilize that. And that was the biggest shame. I could have done so much more with this year, but I didn't. Let's change that. What are my goals for 2021 going to be? You'll see that on Friday. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I make new videos twice a week. And I shall see you guys on Friday with next year's goals. Peace.